Okay, so today I have both the the D8 by Xtool and the D8BT, the Bluetooth version by Xtool. Uh, the regular D8 is a corded tool, meaning you got to have it plugged into the car with a cord so you're tethered to the car. The BT is Bluetooth, meaning that you got a BCI, a Bluetooth BCI right here. So you're not tethered to the car. Uh, I've got the cord coming in uh, from the 2013 Camaro. We're plugged in to both. I got the VCI for the BT, and I've got the uh, cord plugged in for the uh, regular D8. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see if indeed the uh, regular D8 or a corded tool is faster than the Bluetooth version. These are two identical tools, the software, the OS, everything is identical on both these tools. And you can see that in the unboxing of this. Uh, the one here on the right is the BT, the Bluetooth version. So uh, I did an unboxing on this tool showing that the software, all the, uh, all the apps for all the different cars, same identical uh, version. Both these tools are updated to the, to the current version um, of all the software. So the first thing I want to do uh, is I just want to do an auto scan. And I'm just going to hit auto scan and we're going to see how long it takes it to identify the car. Key is on. Okay. Now I'm going to put a timer on these so we can see exactly uh, how fast it took to do that. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and cancel out of this because if I'm connected to the same module of the car, then it knocks the other one out uh, because they're both trying to uh, communicate uh, on the same, uh, I guess, channel, if you will. Okay, so now let's go over here to the BT version. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hit auto scan. Okay, uh, just by looking at it, uh, this perspective right now probably pretty close to the same the bt might have actually been a little quicker i'm not 100 percent sure so now what i want to do is go back to the corded version the d8 we're going to go ahead and do an auto scan again GM1151 is the software. Okay. Now I'm going to hit automatic scan. This is where it's going to scan all the modules. This is going to be the meat of this video. Depending on how long it takes to scan all the modules on both these scan tools, you'll be able to determine which one is quicker than the other and whether or not you would rather have the corded version or the Bluetooth version. I prefer Bluetooth even if it is a little bit slower. My assumption is it might be a little bit slower because it's it's wireless. Usually whenever you have a hardwired connection, you're going to have a little bit quicker response time. But I might be proved wrong here. So what I'm going to do when I hit automatic scan and when it starts scanning, I'm going to start a timer and I'll, it'll be up on the screen so you'll be able to see uh the actual time it takes for it to scan all modules so here we go okay there can be up to 23 modules we're on five of 23 right now this is the regular d8 like I said, both these scan tools are identical in all the different software. Whether it's the OS, which is identical, the actual app that Xtool puts on here that allows it to uh, basically be a scan tool, the automotive app, identical versions. Software is fully updated on both of them. This is GM 11.51 uh, version software. You can see that up here in the corner. You can also see it whenever it 
first went into the uh, the scan. So as soon as this one's done, we're going to switch over here to the Bluetooth version. We're going to do the same identical test, and we're going to see which one is quicker, if either one is indeed quicker. We're on module 12 of 23. It's found 10 so far. I believe this car has 17 total modules. Um, it could have up to 23, depending on how, uh, you know, what kind of options it had. If it was a fully loaded SS Camaro, it would probably have all 23 modules. If it, it'd have to be a convertible, because one of these, I believe, is a convertible top module. This is not a convertible, so obviously that'll be one module that it won't have. And the reason it takes longer on some than others, you'll notice that right now it's on headlamp control module. Well, it did not have a headlamp control module, so it tries to establish communication with that particular module. Once it exhausts all attempts to establish communication, it goes on to the next module. If the module is there, it, it's able to establish communication pretty quick, and then it scans it for DTCs, and it goes on to the next module. So whenever you see it, you're like this multi multimedia player interface module. My guess would be it's not going to be there. So whenever it goes up to the next uh, attempt, you're not going to see this multiplayer or multimedia player interface module. So it's trying to find it right now. That's why it seems to be taking longer than what it does on other modules. See, now it's going to the mobile telephone control module. Over here, 18 of 23. It's found 13 modules so far. One of the things that uh, you know a lot of people say they have issues with is whenever you have a lot of PIDs you're looking at, a lot of live data, okay, it just finished. We have 17 modules total. And once I get the timer up here, I'll probably put the timer right up here. They're actually probably down here because this is more visible. And uh, you'll be able to see exactly how much time that took. So I've got to get completely out of this in order for this other scanner because I've got them you know on that splitter. Uh, yeah I do want to exit. I want to get right back to the main menu. I want to come over here. Now this is the Bluetooth version. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit auto scan. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hit auto scan and we're going to let her go. Here we go. And you can see up here, GM 11.51 is the version of this software, so it's the same version and everything. Both these scan tools, if I haven't said it already, they I did update them right before I uh, got them all hooked up. We're on 12 of 23. It's found 10. Right here is where you can see how many it's found. 
down here in this corner you can see it's 12 of 23 does not have a suspension control module so it'll probably scan this for a while trying to find it that's why it takes a little longer on some than others if, if the module's not there it, it attempts to keep scanning for it until it finally gives up and then goes to the next one if it is there this does have the heads-up display so it found that real quick notice there was no DTCs and then it went to the next module in line so if I haven't said already the reason this is kind of significant is if you're trying to figure out if you want to go Bluetooth or corded the pro that I found with the corded version is the scan tool does charge whenever you've got it hooked to the OBD2 port. So you will probably very seldom have to put the regular D8 on the, the wall charger to charge it. Because if you use it regularly like I do, it, it, it'll stay charged because you have it plugged in. By the time you're done with the job, it's, it's charged itself back up. On the Bluetooth, you're going to be plugging it into the wall to charge it. Um, now, I'm used to that because I've got my Autel MS-906, which is also Bluetooth. And uh, so I've, I've always had to keep it on a charger anyway to keep it charged up enough. Now, the big pro for me on the Bluetooth version is you're not tethered to the car. I don't know how many times I've needed to be under the hood or back in the back of the car. And it's nice to be able to have the scan tool with you actuate certain components or look at certain data and you don't you don't have to be tethered to the car with a cord that's the big deal with the Bluetooth version you can even you know let's say it's hot and you want to go in you want to have the car running while you run some tests you can walk in to an air-conditioned room with your scan tool and you can sit there and actuate components read data do whatever you're doing you might be waiting for the car to just warm up you know, it might be 10 minutes before you can actually get to where you need to be in a test because you got to get the you just started the car and it's got to warm up. So you want to go in where the where the AC is and you can watch your scan tool and all the uh, data pids until you see what you need to see and then you know go back out and do do the job. So it's on 21 or 23, 22 or 23, and there it is. Now, just so right now, I can't tell you which one's quicker. I wasn't actively timing them right now. Whenever I get these into editing software, I'm going to apply a timer and we'll see which one of these uh, outperform the other. Anyway, that is about all I've got. This is just a quick test in case you're trying to determine whether you want to buy the Bluetooth version or the corded version. And if one thing that you're worried about is if there's any kind of a lag time or latency to the Bluetooth version, this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Bluetooth and the corded. And that's what this is all about. So anyway, I'm done. You guys take care. Hope the video didn't get too long for you and boring, but it is what it is. You guys take care.